What's up guys, welcome back. It's mid-October and that means it's time to dive into some comfort food recipes. And what better way to kick things off than these beautiful smothered turkey wings. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. First things first, we're gonna clean and prep these turkey wings. Here I have three pounds of beautiful turkey wings that I got from my local butcher. We're gonna add them to a large mixing bowl and just break out the kitchen scissors and trim these up. You want to get rid of any any excess skin, cartilage, or fat. Just trim them up nicely. Get rid of anything that you don't want to eat. We're going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some cold water. Just get in there with your hands. Make sure you rinse these off nicely. You want to get rid of any bone fragments or cartilage or anything that could damage your teeth. Once your wings are all cleaned up, we need to dry them off. So we're going to lay out some paper towels on a cutting board and then go down with our turkey wings in an even layer. Grab another handful of paper towels and press down firmly on each turkey wing, ensuring that they're nice and dry. This is important because we're going to add some olive oil here in a second. And as you know, oil and water don't mix. We want to make sure that that seasoning sticks to these turkey wings. And speaking of seasoning, today we'll be using some dried thyme, celery salt, Italian seasoning, smoked paprika, crushed red pepper flakes, and one packet of sasson. And of course, my all-purpose seasoning, which is a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, a few other spices. If you haven't tried this yet, you can grab yours via the link in my description box. Otherwise, just use a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder that you have at the house. And next, we're going to give the turkey wings an olive oil massage. So add a thin layer of olive oil on each turkey wing, and then I like to season in layers. So we're going down with the all-purpose seasoning first. So some salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Make sure you season from up high and press down. You don't really want to rub your seasoning because then you don't get even distribution. And we want some nice color on these wings, so we need an even coat of seasoning. So once we're done with our first layer, we'll add the remaining seasonings that I showed you guys earlier. Quick reminder that all the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Once you're finished seasoning the first side, we're going to flip these bad boys over and do the same exact thing to the other side. So going down with the olive oil, which is going to help the seasoning stick and help these turkey wings brown up beautifully. Once they're well coated in olive oil, we're going to hit them with the same blend of seasoning that we used earlier, making sure that we show them the same love and affection as the first side. Next, we're moving on to prepping our veggies. Now, we're going to need one carrot that we have peeled and clean. We're going to chop that into bite-sized pieces. This is mostly for flavor, guys. So what we're going to do here is basically build a nest for these turkey wings to sit on. And that's going to help add tons of flavor to our pan drippings, which we're going to use to make our gravy. And it's all about the gravy, baby. Just a few additional steps to add some extra love to this recipe. So a lot of recipes call for just onions and peppers, which is fine, but you're not going to get the same flavor as you're going to get from all these additional aromatics and vegetables that we're using here. So just prep your veggies as you see me doing right here. We're going to cut the bell pepper into bite-sized pieces. It doesn't matter how precise you chop these because, again, they're just for flavor. We're not really going to eat much of this. So there's really no right or wrong way to do this. So we got bell pepper, we have onion, we got celery, we got carrots. We're gonna go down with some rosemary and thyme as well. We're also gonna use one lemon because we're building as much flavor as possible in our casserole dish. So slice your lemon like you see me doing right here. And then we're gonna build our bird's nest for these turkey wings to roast in. There we go. We're also gonna use some garlic. So three to four cloves of garlic, just give it a good smash and peel. You don't have to chop this up, you can leave it whole. You can throw a little extra garlic in there if that's your thing, no big deal. And there's that onion we talked about, so give that a nice rough chop as well. And there you have it folks, that's all of the delicious ingredients that are going to make the bed for our turkey wings as they roast in the oven. So just add that to the casserole dish, make a nice even layer, throw some lemon in there. All of that's going to add tons of flavor to this gravy, so we want to throw all of that into the casserole dish. This is about a 9 by 11 casserole dish. We're going to hit it with a little olive oil to ensure the veggies don't scorch in the oven. And then you want to hit this with just a little all-purpose seasoning or a little salt and pepper just to add a little flavor to the party. Get in there with your hands make sure that olive oil is evenly distributed. So then we're going down with the fresh herbs. I'm using rosemary and thyme. You could use parsley, thyme, rosemary, sage, whatever you like. Make sure that everything is nice and flat and even, and then we're going to add an even layer of these turkey wings. You want to ensure that they're not overlapping too much. You want to give them some adequate space to kind of breathe and allow the air to circulate around them so they get nice and crispy. Preheat that oven to 325 degrees, and you want to wrap this casserole dish nice and tight in some aluminum foil. 
You can practice your gift wrapping skills right now since the holidays are approaching rapidly. That's gonna go in that 325 degree oven for one and a half hours. Then we're gonna unwrap it and then increase the temperature to 375 degrees and put it back in the oven for an additional hour until it looks beautiful like this. Oh man, take a look at that. We're not done yet though. We're gonna drain off those pan drippings and we're gonna use that to make our gravy. Possibly the best gravy you've ever had in your life. That's liquid gold. We're gonna get rid of most of that, leaving behind the onions and the peppers. Then you wanna arrange the turkey wings back into the casserole dish. Try to do it the same way you did originally. Good luck with that. And then we're gonna make our gravy. We're going in with some butter and those pan drippings. Bring that up to a simmer. And then we're going in with our all-purpose flour. Again, guys, all the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. That's gonna form a roux, and we're gonna give that a nice mix over medium heat. It should form a paste-like consistency like you see right here. And you wanna cook that raw flour taste off for two to three minutes. We're not making a dark roux here, so this is a good color. This is about the color I'm looking for. And now we're gonna add in our chicken stock a little bit at a time, whisking constantly to make sure our gravy is smoother than a three-day weekend. There we go. Be nice and patient with this, guys. You can make it a little darker if you want. I'll show you a little cheat code here in just a second. I like to use this browning product here. This is popular in a lot of Caribbean dishes like brown stew chicken and oxtail. It helps to provide a nice deep dark color on the gravy like you see here. Adds a little richness to the flavor profile as well. Now we're gonna season our gravy to taste. I'm going in with some all purpose seasoning, a little worst word in the world sauce, few dashes of that. You wanna taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference as always. The gravy really is the star of the show. Obviously we seasoned the hell out of those turkey wings, but this gravy really brings this recipe home. So take your time with it to make sure you get it just right. You can add a little cayenne if you wanna spice things up a bit. Once you get the color and consistency you're looking for, it should coat the back of a spoon like you see right here. That is the perfect gravy consistency in my opinion. Brace yourself for some trademark money shots cause they are on the way people. Oh man, it doesn't get much better than this. Let me know what other comfort food classics you wanna see coming up. Turkey wings are one of my favorites. They take a little bit of effort, guys, but it's totally worth it when you finally dig in. We're gonna pop that back in the oven for another hour and a half or until they're fork tender like so. Oh man, I can't wait to plate these up. Let me know in the comments what you would plate these up with. What are your favorite side items to go with some other turkey wings? Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. We're going down with some gravy, people. Oh man, we got this plated up on a bed of white rice with some collard greens. In comes the fresh chopped parsley for a pop of color. And I just can't wait to get in there for a taste test. Say it with me guys, looking good. Now somebody pass me a fork, please. Here we go. Look at that, as tender as a mother's love, just shredding right off the bone, just like you want. Gotta go in there for some of that gravy though. There we go, let's see what we got, moment of truth. This recipe is a slam dunk, guys. You gotta give this one a try, definitely a fork drop. Let me know what you think in the comments, give your boy a thumbs up, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications, and as always, thank you for your support.